So you bought Lumina 4 and you are a little bit lost and you don't know where to find everything in this post-processing tool. I'm going to tell you that in this short video. My name is Mark Roy. I'm a Dutch-based photographer and today I'm going to show you more about Luminar. Luminar is getting more and more popular. Luminar 4 is just released and compared to Luminar 3 there are some changes in the interface so if you are used to Lumina 3, it isn't strange that you cannot find everything. So for the new users, maybe there are also some users watching this video that didn't use Lumina 3 before. In the right top, you can see the different modules. We have the library and the edit module. First, I will talk a little bit more about the library where you can find everything. First of all, it is important, of course, that you get your photos visible in Luminar. So on the right side here you can see the folders. I um, imported a few folders, so a few folders are visible. I can open this folder to see all these subfolders. But if you start Luminar for the first time, probably you don't see anything. Well, it's quite easy to add a folder because you can just click this little plus icon. You look for a folder you want to add, you press OK and the folder is visible over here. So that's quite easy and in my opinion also way easier than to get your photos visible in Lightroom for example. So that's a big plus of Luminar. Another thing that's good to know the thumbnails of the photos you see here in the middle you can adjust the size so you can make them smaller, you can make them larger so that's up to you what you like you can also use this buttons those buttons to change it so here on the right you have the grid view and the single photo view so that's where you can change that um, another important button after you finished editing your photos is this button it's to export your photos so if you want to use your photos including all the edits you made uh, for Facebook, Instagram, uh, maybe you want to make a print of it, you use this button to export the image to your hard disk, including all the edits. Then we go to the edit module. Also, this is quite different compared to Luminar 3. So what you should know about Luminar 4 is that the filters here on the right side they are categorized so they are categorized in essentials creative portrait and professional so here you can find all the filters in Lumina 3 it was possible to create your own workspace so you were allowed to add filters yourself and you could decide about the order that's not possible anymore so the filters are all here and well in the end I don't think it matters too much compared to the workspaces and honestly I think it is easier to understand with this fixed ranking. So the filters are here, um, the looks the looks, and if you don't know what looks are, looks are kind of no, presets, presets is a more familiar um, term that is used more often but it's just a combination of edits and you can press in on one of the looks and everything is applied right away. So I have here some looks I created myself, but by default Lumina 4 comes with some looks and it's possible to go to the marketplace of Skylum and let's see that is here. You have to click here to get more and you can download plenty of extra Luminar looks for the creative touch of your photos. So that's very nice to know that the button is here now. Another thing I want to show are the tools. The tools are right here now. So if you want to crop and rotate your photo, you have to go here to select it. Although this icon is also visible here on the top. Uh, if you want to erase something or use the clone and stamp tool, you can find it also here in the tools section. Another thing that's in the tool section, maybe you cannot find it and maybe you expect it in the filters, uh, is the lens and ge geometry. So if you want to apply a lens correction, you have to go here to the tools to select it. 
As you might know, in Lumina 3, it was possible to work with different layers. In Lumina 4, that is still possible. So what you can do is you can pr press this icon here on the right top. There's the layers panel. And over here with the plus icon, it is possible to add a new adjustment layer or a new image layer that still works in the same way. If you regret one of the edits you made, you can go to the right bottom corner. There you can see an icon of a clock that is the history. And in the history, you can exactly see all the edits you made. So if you regret the last edit, you can just press in the second line and the last edit is not uh, applied anymore. So that's the way to undo some edits. And the great thing, of course, about Luminar is you can always go back to the original image. While you're editing your photos, maybe you wonder how the photo was before and how it is after. Here you can see it. You can press the eye. You can hold it with the left mouse button to see the before and after, or you can do a split view of before and after. So that's also good to know. And that's basically it what I wanted to show in this video. It was a very quick video about the user interface. I'm going to make more videos about Lumina 4, um, more in-depth videos about the library, also about the edit module. If you have any special requests, let me know. Uh, leave a comment below the video uh, with your request or your um, with your question and I will, will answer all the questions for sure and I will try to meet as many as requests as possible. If you like this video, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you very soon in the next Luminar tutorial.